welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I'm really excited because I did a pattern test this month and I'm finally able to talk about it because the pattern launches tomorrow. So it is this top. This is from Pattern Emporium and I'll show you guys the line drawings. This is the Flossum cutout top and dress. So it has um, a dress version that's quite, quite fitted and then has a semi-fitted shirt version. With this, you get several options. You get a cap sleeve, a short sleeve, which is what I made, a three-quarter sleeve and a long sleeve. And you can also make the dress as a mini, a midi, and a maxi. Um, I made this version out of a, let me show it to you guys, a DTY polyester. Um, now this one shows my bra a little bit and that's because of, I think the fabric is a little bit more drapey um, and because I'm just wearing the wrong bra with it. But this is the shirt, this is the regular length. You can also make it in a longer tall length for people who have longer torsos. I'm only 5'3", so. I actually took an inch off of it. But as you can see, it's got this little cutout window, little boob window, I call it. But it's still pretty modest. Like, it's not cleavage-tastic. And part of that is because of the placement. It's still pretty high up. So it's not showing, like, tons of skin. It's just a little flash. Um, I'm wearing it today with these black palazzo pants. And go ahead and tuck it in for you. Yeah, and as you can see, if I tuck it in, it needs to be... Okay, there we go. There we go. So this is it tucked in. I think it's a really cute design. It has a really nice fit. Um, this is so easy. So if you can make a t-shirt, you can make this. Because... Um, let me get a little closer. So as you can see... It's got these two panels, right? So here's this panel at the top and then there's a bottom panel. And you just put either binding or banding there. And then after you finish and you've got it all put together, you then pull it down a little bit, get it in place, and then top stitch or stitch in the ditch over where the opening is. And that way you can make the window as big or as small as you'd like. I did not make the dress, I, well I tried. I made a test fit of the dress and um, it just needed a little bit of tweaking because of my full tummy. Um, so I am going to eventually make it. I just couldn't make it in time for the test. But it has some really great options and the tutorial has a lot of really fantastic ideas on how to get things to fit you. So sway back adjustment, curve adjustment for a full tummy, curve adjustment for a full bum. Um, so a lot of options. I feel like if I'm ever going to have a fitted dress, which you guys know I don't usually make, um, that actually fits me properly, it might be this one. So I'll definitely, probably this summer, I'll try it again um, when I'm feeling a little bit more, you know, but right now I really want to cover up because it's getting cold here. So that brings me to my hack. I did make a second version, which is a hacked version. And I love this one and I will definitely make this again. So in the tutorial, Kate includes a hack on how to make this banded top. So you basically cut it off at the waistline and then you create a rectangle that is your waist measurement. This one is eight inches tall and then it gets folded up and sewn around to the shirt. So it creates a band that's like a four inch band. And then you can mash other sleeves on this. So this does work with some of the other sleeves that Pattern Emporium has, including the True Romance Bishop sleeves. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one on so you guys can see this other version and be right back. The hack version with the long sleeves. And this is done in a double brushed poly which is a really nice fabric. As you can see, my bra still shows a little bit and that's just because my bra comes way far in. It's like a heavy coverage bra and that's the only one I've got. But if you wore like a balconette bra, you wouldn't see it at all. Um, I love the bishop sleeves on this with the cuffs. 
These are the True Romance Bishop Sleeves in the Subtle Bishop, which as you can see is not subtle. And then there it is with that little band. And let me show you how it looks with the pants because isn't this cool? So we've got the little band, gets everything nice and fitted at the waist, and then you've got these big wide leg pants that kind of look like a skirt. Um, these are the Pattern Pour and Palazzo pants, which I've made like five pairs of. They are my official pants pattern of my life. So yeah, that is my experience with this. I think that this is definitely worth a try. This pattern type, like these cutout tops, are really to the second right now and really popular. But for me, I think they can be styled to look quite rockabilly and quite pent up. So that's kind of the, ro the route I go with them because that's just where I live. But um, it's a good pattern. It's a good pattern and it's pretty much as easy and fast to sew as a t-shirt. You just have a couple extra steps that I think really give it a different look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you decide to try the pattern, comment down below. I'll put a link to it so you can find it easily and it launches tomorrow. See you soon. Bye.